We are in the Gallery Perrotin in Paris uh, for a show called Post-Up. So the title is ambiguous. Uh, Post-Up means post-optical, but also post-operative. Uh, it means that uh, the, the paintings, the works brought together deal with optical art, but they are in a post-operative state. They've been um, under a surgical treatment in a way. They've been um, attacked by um, precision blades. They've been uh, bleeding uh, with painting. Uh, those accidents have a very important purpose. They will break the flux of perception. Uh, they will break rotative effects, the vibration. They are dealing with chaos, uh, but in the end, what is the more important, they remind us that the painting itself is an object. You can feel the action of the, of the artist, you can feel his hand. Sometimes it's very long and very complex and meditative and repetitive. Well, this painting is from, um, I think I made it in just a little over a year ago, so it's very recent. And uh, it relates to earlier work that I made where it's extremely precise uh, lines, except for the differences. Now um, I allow all these mistakes, all these happenings to be apparent in the, in the work itself. They're on aluminum because I like the paintings to have like a physical presence, also to be very dynamic, very optical. I think of art as uh, artists as having uh, an idea about art, and that uh, anything I make is just is, an, is a byproduct of that thinking. So for me, it's, it's sort of like a, a Zen-like approach to to making the work. So for me, it's a very more of a meditative practice in a way. Optical experience is very, very cent central in uh, our work. Obviously, I mean, but uh, in our work is also deals also with uh, the, the, the experience of the matter itself in the painting, like in the, the core of the, the paint itself. For this painting, we usually start by uh, sketching on the computer, and then once we got the what we want, we just send in a file to that uh, to that uh, stencil printer that just makes it cut out in the in the sticker, and then uh, it's just a matter of applying the, the stencil on the, the canvas. So. For this painting, we we uh, also include uh, like the, some sort of uh, freedom from the, the or original sketch to have like a more like lively uh, uh, approach on it, lively, more lively touch. Uh, so there are like small imperfections, uh, and it's even more obvious on the the other one, which is uh, only black and white, but the parts of the line are ripped off. The ripping off was quite unexpected, and then uh, we thought, okay, let's just continue with that and uh, try to control it. I can say about, uh, about my work that I'm, I'm dealing with perception um, in a very um, subjective and uh, sensual way. I used to paint uh, normal square paintings, but um, in these paintings, I had a lot of empty, empty spaces and that's why I decided to do these shaped canvases. I also see myself, um, if you want to put me in some tradition, more into direction like Dadaism or Surrealism. Actually, these are collages. I love these accidents. I mean, um, a handmade piece has a quality that um, is unmatchable. I think to, trying to do art or doing art is like um, walking on a razor blade and one, on one side you have to keep the control but on the other side you have to be loose a little bit otherwise it becomes dead.